The Vatican City national football team Italian, Selezioni di Calcio della Città del Vaticano is the football team that represents Vatican City under the control of the Federazione Vaticanese Guoco Calcio, headquartered in the Vatican's Quartile di San Damaso. The Vatican City Football Association was founded in 1972. Its current president is Domenico Ruggiero. Gianfranco Guadagnoli, an Italian, is the current head coach. The team has been managed by Giovanni Trapattoni in the past. His first match as manager was played on 23 October 2010 when Vatican City faced a team composed of Italian financial police. The team played its first match in 1985, a 3–0 victory against a representative of Austrian journalists. Overview in the year 2000, Pope John Paul II established a Vatican sports department with the aim of reinvigorating the tradition of sport within the Christian community. In 2006, Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Tarsicio Bertoni suggested that the Vatican could field a team of men from Catholic seminaries. About the prospect, the Cardinal stated, If we just take the Brazilian students from our pontifical universities we could have a magnificent squad. The Cardinal also noted that in the 1990 FIFA World Cup, there were 42 players in the final round who attended Salesian training centers worldwide. For example, Marcelino, Spanish hero of the 1964 European Nations, Cup was a former seminarian. It was Bertoni. S proposal that the Vatican's players, even if accepted by UEFA, would be drawn from the population within the Catholic Church worldwide, not just citizens of Vatican City. He was unclear at the time whether the Vatican would grant these players Vatican citizenship to make this possible. With the smallest population of any nation, approximately 900, it is difficult to form a squad. The Vatican City squad consists entirely of employees of the Vatican, police officers, postal workers, government officials, and members of the Swiss Guard, the Vatican's de facto army, charged with protecting the Pope. Since most Vatican citizens are members of the Swiss Guard, they cannot be amassed in large numbers for a long time. Therefore, the national team has played only a few rare international matches, often drawing a fair amount of interested press. When Vatican City played its first match in 2002, only one player, Marcello Rosati, had a Vatican passport. In 2006, Vatican City was invited to participate in the Viva World Cup by the NF board and were expected to participate but were unable to do so because they could not assemble a 15-man roster. In total, Vatican City have played only four full international matches against other nations, one draw and three defeats to Monaco in 2002, 2011, 2013, and 2014 respectively. In addition to its full international matches, the team has played a friendly match, its first, against the San Marino reserve team in 1994. The final score of that match is believed to be a 0-0 draw but Steve Menary's book Outcasts, The Lands That FIFA Forgot states that Vatican insiders told him that the match ended 1-1. In 2010, the Vatican organized a team to play a friendly game against Palestine. However, the team was made up of Catholic priests and was not considered the Vatican City national team. In 2006, the Vatican City played SV Valmond, a team from Switzerland, at Stadio Petriana with Vatican City prevailing 5-1. The team has also competed against a representative team from the Diocese of Limburg. In September 2016 the team participated in a triangular tournament at the Manlio Scopigno Stadium in Riti to raise funds for earthquake victims. Former Italian international Simone Parada also participated in the tournament. The Vatican's stance on football Vatican footballing history began on 7 January 1521 when the first football match was played in the Vatican in the Quartile del Belvedere. In the presence of Pope Leo X, the first Vatican League was created in 1973 and was first won by employees of L. Osservatore Romano, the newspaper of the Holy See. The Vatican has typically expressed strong support for football. Pope John Paul II was reportedly a goalkeeper in his youth in Poland, and an ardent supporter of Cracovia Krakow. The former German Pope Pope Benedict XVI is an ardent supporter of Bayern Munich since his youth growing up in Bavaria, Germany. 
Benedict is quoted as saying, the sport of football can be a vehicle of education for the values of honesty, solidarity and fraternity, especially for the younger generation. In October 2007, the Pope was presented with a number 16 shirt in reference to the 16th use of his papal name by Siri B. Side Ancona after Benedict supported their initiative to become a beacon of morality by adopting an innovative, ethical model of practicing football. In 2010, Benedict and the Vatican reaffirmed their belief that football should be a beacon of morality by lashing out at Serie A after matches for the upcoming season were scheduled at 12.30 p.m. on Sundays to appease pay-per-view companies wishing to spread out Serie A matches over the weekend. The Vatican previously questioned the league's decision to play matches on Sundays at all, but, "...I consider this a truly harmful development." Monsignor Carlo Mazza told Tutosport, "...putting people in front of the television screen at 12.30 set, when they are having lunch with their families, to me seems like a pitch invasion on life." Additionally, on 18 December 2006, Tarsicio Bertoni, Cardinal Secretary of State of the Holy See, stated, but only in jest, that he did not preclude the possibility that the Vatican, in the future, could put together a football team of great value, that could play on the same level as, Roma, Internazionale and Milan or Genoa. The current Argentinian Pope, Pope Francis is an ardent fan of his hometown club San Lorenzo, and exhibited disappointment when Argentina lost the 2014 World Cup final against Germany. <laughs> FIFA membership The Vatican is one of only nine fully recognized sovereign states whose national team is not a FIFA member. The others are the Federated States of Micronesia, Kiribati, the Marshall Islands, Monaco, Nauru, Palau, Tuvalu, and the United Kingdom though the UK's four home countries, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have individual FIFA teams each of which is also a member of the IFAB. In May 2014, Domenico Ruggiero, president of the National Football Association, stated that, I prefer to be amateur. To join FIFA, at that level, will be like a business. After stating, the important message of friendship and love is demonstrated by the sport the real sport, not the business that is in football these days. It is not just important to win a match, it is how you carry yourself. Therefore, that, he added, meant that, the ethos of the Vatican soccer team was, at odds with FIFA membership. Kit Topic. The team's current kit is provided by Sportica SA. The current kit has an image of St. Peter's Basilica ghosted on the front. In the past, the kit has been provided by Diodora. The shorts are all white while the top is solid yellow with a narrow blue and white line around the right upper quadrant of the body. Topic. Matches Topic. Topic. Against other nations Topic. Win Draw Loss Topic. Other Topic. Sources, sport in Vaticano Topic. Current squad Topic. Players called up for the international friendlies against Monaco on the 22nd of June 2013 Topic. Coaches Topic. Severio Di Pafi Giovanni Trapattoni Gianfranco Guadagnoli Topic. See also. Topic. Campionato della Città del Vaticano. List of football clubs in Vatican City. Index of Vatican City-related articles. Topic. Notes. Topic. 
Topic: External links. Topic: Vatican City Men's National Football Team International Games at RSSSF in English. Official website. Adavita Calcistica Dependenti Vaticani in Latin in Italian. CSI Centro Sportivo Italiano in Italian. Clericus Cup in Italian.